Debate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy. Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house. Whoa! Look at all the decorations. So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder. What's inside a haunted house? Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! Whoa. I better go into the haunted house to find Tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs, but you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great! Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Whoa, wee! <laughs> it turned into a slide. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? Whoa! Sorry. Don't worry. It happens all the time to Bones. Maybe he's seen Tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, Whee! So Sorry again, Bones. Whoa, maybe that flying ghost knows where Tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa, hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spinning wall! Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Flippy! You made it all the way through my haunted house. The tricks are over, but now it's time for the trees! But wait, I still haven't found Tabs. <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! I love our cool Blippi Mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea. We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> We're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seat belts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. <laughs> we made it! Knew we would! 
Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Flippy. Happy and safe driving! gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Whoa. Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension with your special springs so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four wheel steering so I can turn all four wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters, because it's Halloween. <laughs> of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick-or-treat. Did somebody say trick-or-treat? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend, Debo. <laughs> hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food. Well, 
You're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick or treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go. The first thing we'll need are costumes. Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see. There we go! Ooh! ooh. Boo! <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us. Opa! And now a chef! <laughs> so cool! Boo! I'll just stick with a mask. Our costumes are ready. Time for the next step. Containers to hold our treats. Cool jack-o'-lantern pails. Ooh, my first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets. It's getting dark! A glowing ghost! Fun! Okay! <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Happy Halloween! What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick, Trick or treat! treat. Ha <laughs> 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 Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! <laughs> Whoa! Those scare me every time! <laughs> Trick or treat! Look what, what I, I got. got! Whoa! Look at all these treats! Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita! And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then, walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say trick or treat to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow, these colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks, I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? Ivan, you have...
have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gold left in you, Devo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan! You're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh! Bebo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, us ducks do paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right. We have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. <coughs> it's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. <coughs> See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon! Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry. We have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So ducks float. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm. 
I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. moves you got there. I'm Bella the bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm going to have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do! Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. Well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles. The bare version of a big comfy blanket. Oh, thanks. That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi Rooney, it's me Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Whoa, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. Jump! Ready to go even higher! Yeah! 
actually the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. Phew. It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry. Are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm. I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea. We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm going to need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft. Prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there. <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans. I I need them so we can start making chocolate bars. <laughs> I'm not a bean. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. Hi, Blippi. Hi, Debo. <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. 
These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go find that nighttime animal! Ah! Oh! My name is Rita the Raccoon! What's yours? Hey! It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool! Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course! I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything! Oh, look at her go! Debo, follow that raccoon! Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food. 
there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Cool! A fire truck! You're right, Tabs. It does have a really long ladder. Hmm, I wonder, what's it like to be a fire truck? Great idea! We can catch up with that fire truck and find out. Well, hi there. I'm Frankie the fire truck. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Great to meet you, Frankie. We were wondering what it's like to be a fire truck. It's a big job. You always have to be ready to help. And I am. <laughs> they call me a first responder, which means I'm the first one to arrive in any emergency. That's great, Frankie. Hey, will you show Tabs your really long ladder? Sure. I also have a lot of other special equipment. Check it out. I have many ladders and hoses. So cool! And also fire extinguishers and first aid kits? I do! And hammers and cutters to open stuck doors! Ooh! You also have nets? Oh yeah, I have nets in case someone in trouble needs to jump to safety! I don't only put out fires, I also rescue people and animals! Sounds like a cat needs help! It's in a tree! Come on! <laughs> Flippy, you go up and get the kitten down. I'm ready. Hey, kitty. <coughs> kitty, I'm here to help. I'll pick you up and carry you down. <sighs> I couldn't get to her. There's no giving up, Flippy. We must rescue her. Good idea, Tabs. We can use the net. <laughs> yeah. We did it! Frankie, we got a code 1171 on Main Street. There's a fire. Please hurry. I'm on it. Time to go. My siren can get loud, but it helps people to know to get out of my way. Sorry, Blippi. I got this. Yeah! That was amazing, Frankie. You put that fire out so quickly. <laughs> the fire's flaring up again. I'm gonna need the water hose attachment. Water hose confirmed. Yeah! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to be a fire truck? Fire trucks are first responders to fires and other emergencies. They carry lots of equipment like hoses, ladders, and nets. They also have a siren to alert people that they're coming. Upload answer tab. Bye, Frankie. Thanks for letting us help out. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Tabs. Stay safe. Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa, look at that, Tabs! It's an adorable kitty cat! <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. 
you seen any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's me, Flippy! What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> Me too! I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween! Wow! Look at all the jack-o'-lanterns! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. You scared me. You're welcome, Blippi. I love to be scared. It's fun. <laughs> it is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Hmm, okay. Let's do it. Yikes! Score one for Team Pumpkin! Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones. That's two points for Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones! Let's plan our next scare! Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl. <laughs> Let's go. This is gonna be good. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Score one for Team Flippy. <laughs> Got us good, Blippi! Yeah! Nice work, Debo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? 
Oh boy, this is really going to scare them. <laughs> Hold on, Debo. I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo. <laughs> It's a tie. <laughs> All right. Halloween is the best. But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No problem, Flippy. I had a lot of fun, too. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Mmm, mm, 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 salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth. <laughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Flippy Station! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth! You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. OK, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs, toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, 
Can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! I spy detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air. Pepper, you're soaring! I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! Huh? You're right! The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm. I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. Huh? I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! 
Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoons. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. La 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 la. Ooh, what's that? La 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 la. Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh, hi, I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing. Everybody join in. La la la. <sighs> I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Huh? Whoa! Yeah! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Whee! Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? 
Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La, 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 la. <laughs> Bye-bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. 